I get to go out there and work in my yard and work in my garden and, and have beautiful flowers. They're peaceful, it's calm, and I'm playing. I get to have fun with it. It's where she cultivates joy, where color climbs upward from the soil. From the garden in the front to the carefully pampered plants in the backyard, Lucy Zare is very proud of her efforts producing these ultimate expressions of life. So what all do we have here? This is Datura, Atropia belladonna, but then over here we have some henbane and oleander, milkweed, which is really lovely here in Texas gardens, and wormwood. This is doll's eye, which comes up and has beautiful little seeds that are used for doll's eyes, which is where it gets its name. So what does this garden mean to you, having it? You know, I bought this yard for its lovely trees, and this is my only sunny spot, so I get to plant all my favorite plants right here. The, these are all beautiful, but do you have anything out here where you could come out and say, pick your own salad? Oh no, you could not eat any of these plants. These are all poison plants. Poison? Poison. All of them? All of them. This is what I do. I grow poison plants in my yard. And I have oh. a great time doing it. So you mean to tell me all of these plants that you have in your garden are poisonous? Yes, absolutely. Why? Why? Murder mystery writers want to know how to kill people in their books. And that's what I do. I tell them how to do it. And poison plants work perfectly. You're telling people how to kill people. I tell mystery writers how to kill people. I love books, obviously. I have a lot of books. And I know these characters. I know what they think. I know what they feel. I know what makes them afraid and what makes them happy. And oddly enough, she knows how to kill these characters. Murder mystery writers from all over the country have fine-tuned their fatal plots from Lucy's lethal landscape. She was a pharmacist and renowned toxicologist whose friendship with authors years ago blossomed into a full-time toxic relationship. Her appearances at writers' conventions are standing room only, and Lucy's phone rings at odd hours from authors suffering from writer's block and desperate for fatal inspiration. Here's a book that I've helped with. It's called Third Degree. It says, thank you to Lucy Zare, the poison lady, who taught me more than I ever thought I would need to know about arsenic. Catherine Hall Page is a New England author, and in this book, she writes, as always, many thanks to Lucy Zare, the poison lady, for help on various areas of expertise. There are so many different factors that change the way a poison works or how fast it works and that I can use to help an author out. They can give me the plot points, what they need, and then if they don't have a particular poison in mind, I can suggest to them what poison will work for them. People always ask me where they can find poisons for their books. You go to a little old grocery store or an old pharmacy or an old filling station that sold a few groceries and you look at the back of the shelves and you'll find the most interesting poisons that have just been pushed back and forgotten. And I told Margaret Marin that story and she used it in her book. She has her killer go to an old little grocery store that's a filling station and picks out the arsenic poison. What more touching tribute could you give someone than thanking them for telling you how to kill somebody? I love it. I think it's the best tribute there is. And they write me little personal notes and they send me books and then we always have something to talk about at lunch. And of course you've got the book Cooking to Kill, the Poison Cookbook. I, I don't have this one in my collection. I have the cyanide cookbook also if you really need to borrow it. And how to murder your husband? Cooking to Excuse kill? Me? <laughs> He's right here. I know. Hello. I'd have to find that one, but um You don't happen to have an ex-husband out there somewhere, do you? I do. He's still alive and <laughs> you know. He's up in Michigan. Um so no dead bodies in my backyard. 
None that have been found. None that have been found. <laughs> And Margaret Marion wrote, to my favorite poisoner. So what's it like when you've got an author call, and, and sometimes they write in the middle of the night, but they call and they need that help? It's the most thrilling thing. It is so exciting. Someone who's famous and creative and talented, they're calling me for help. And I'm just this little old lady in Central Texas. Who knows how to kill people who knows how to kill people. She, she named it after you. In the pages of any given murder mystery, there's blood. always a storyline that takes many twists and turns. And of course, tantalizing details of a foul and hideous deed. Somehow, if you could truly read between the lines, you might find that it came from a little house in Gatesville. Lucy Zare's contributions to America's literary landscape. I get so much pleasure from reading books and to pick up a book and then to see my name in the book, you know, this is just a little part of me. And I get to give back to a community that's given me such joy in my life. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.